How many of y'all had faith that I have a topic by this evening? Good, a few of you did. Uh, right. Well, that is my topic this evening. I chose um, the subject of faith. What does the word faith mean, or what does it mean for you? <clears throat> Webster's definition is a strong belief or trust. Uh, the Hebrew roots for the word would be belief, firm persuasion, assurance, firm conviction, and faithfulness. <clears throat> Faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance that the Lord is working even though we cannot see it. Faith is knows that no matter what the situation in our lives or someone else's, that the Lord is working in it. <clears throat> it is the act whereby a person lays hold of God's resources, becomes obedient to what he has prescri prescribed, and putting aside all self-interest and self-reliance, trusts him completely. It is an unqualified surrender of the whole of one's being in dependence upon him, it is wholly trusting and relying upon Him for all things. It is not just a mental assent or approval to the facts and realities of, of trust. It must come from a deep inner conviction. As James 2.19 says, Thou believest that there is one God, thou doest well. The devils also believe and tremble. So it's more than just knowing, it's also believing. <clears throat> Um, I'm going to read, you all can turn to um, Hebrews 11. I'm going to read the chapter, Hebrews 11, the commonly known as the faith chapter. Hebrews 11, starting at verse 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtained a good report. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that things which were seen were not made of things which do appear. By faith Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous, God testifying of his gifts, and by it he being dead, yet speaketh. By faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death, and was not found, because God had translated him. For before his translation he had this testimony, that he pleased God. For without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. By faith, Noah, being warned of God of things not yet, not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by which he condemned the world, and because became heir of the righteousness which is by faith. By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out unto a place which he should after receive for an inheritance, obeyed, and he went out, not knowing whether he went. By faith, he sojourned in the land of promise as in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. And he, for he looked for a city which had foundations, whose builder and maker is God. Through faith also Sarah herself conceived, received strength to conceive seed and was delivered of a child when she was past age, because she judged him faithful who had promised. Therefore sprang there even of one, and him as good as dead, so many as the stars of the sky in multitude, and as the sands, sand which is by the seashore innumerable. These all died in faith, not having received the promise, but having seen them afar off, and were persuaded of them, and embraced them, and 
and confess that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. <clears throat> For they that say such things declare plainly that they seek a country, and truly, if they had been mindful of that country from whence they came out, they might have had opportunity to have returned. But now they desire a better country, that is, in heavenly, wherefore God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he hath prepared for them a city. By faith Abraham, when he was tried, offered up Isaac, and he that had received the promises offered up his only begotten son, for whom it was said that it is that in Isaac shall thy seed be called, accounting that God was able to raise him up even from the dead, from whence he also received him in a figure. By faith Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau concerning things to come. By faith Jacob, when he was dying, blessed both the sons of Joseph and worship, leaning upon the top of his staff. By faith Joseph, when he died, he made mention of the departing of the children of Israel and gave them command concerning his bones. By faith Moses, when he was born, was hid three months of his parents, because they saw he was a proper child, and they were not afraid of the king's commandment. <clears throat> By faith Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season, esteeming the reproach of Christ greater riches than the treasures in Egypt, for he hath respect unto the compense of the reward. By faith he forsook Egypt, not fearing the wrath of the king, for he endured as seeing him who is invisible. Through faith he kept the Passover and the sprinkling of the blood, lest he that destroyed the firstborn should touch them. By faith they passed through the Red Sea, as by dry land, which the Egyptians sang to do or drowned, a saying to do or drowned. By faith the walls of Jericho fell down, and after they were compassed about seven days. By faith the harlot Rahab perished not with them that believed not, when she had received the spies with peace. And what more should I say, for the entire for the time would fail me to tell of Gideon and of Barak and of Samson and Chephthu, of David also and Samuel, and of the prophets, who through faith subdued kingdoms, wrought righteousness, and obtained the promises, and stopped the mouths of lions, quenching the violence of fire, escaped the edge of the sword, out of weakness were made strong, waxed vigilant in fight, turned to fight the armies of the aliens, women received their dead, raised to life again, and others were tortured, not accepting deliverance, that they may obtain a better resurrection. And others had trial of cruel mockings and scourgings, yea, moreover of bonds and imprisonment. They were stoned, they were sawn asunder, were tempted, were slain with the sword. They wandered about in sheepskins and goatskins, being desolate, but destitute, afflicted, tormented, of whom the world was not worthy. They wandered in deserts, in mountains, in dens, in caves of the earth. And these all, having obtained a good report through faith, received not the promise. God had, having proved, provided some better thing for us that they without us should not be made perfect. All right, that was kind of a long chapter, but um, what are some things we can learn about faith through that whole chapter, and what are some of the things that the, those individuals that were named did that they were mentioned in that chapter? These all had something in common. Mm -hmm. How many of us think that if we lived before Hebrews 11 was written, that our name would have made it in that chapter? <clears throat> Did they realize that they were living in 
living by faith, especially at the current time, at the moment. Somebody have a thought on that? <clears throat> Well, if you look at individual circumstances like Noah, I don't know if you think about it today when you take a step like that or not, but this is actually a step in faith. It's like stepping into the water. You almost think he would have, I guess, been a bit aware of the, I don't know, I don't think I'd call it a risk. He had confidence. Mm-hmm. So I don't know, I think we're asked to take steps sometimes that probably would be steps of confidence. We're not putting a banner on the wall and saying, no, <laughs> look at my faith. It doesn't work that way. Because sometimes we might be shaping as we go. Mm-hmm. I think it all comes back to confidence in an invisible hand. Yeah. They all did what they built. God wanted them to do, even when it wasn't popular, a lot of times they were real opposition to many of these people. I don't think a lot of these people I didn't I mean I don't know what all went, they went through but they didn't necessarily sooner maybe maybe they thought it but they wasn't so much as if we don't do this this will happen to us I think it was um, <clears throat> the relationship with Christ and when he they asked them to do something that's what they did <clears throat> And there's things in this chapter that we have to have faith about, even um, in uh, verse 3 there, even, I mean, it says, through faith we understand that the world was framed by the Word of God, so that things which were seen were not made of things which do appear. I mean, I think he's referring to creation there. Um, there's people that try to come up with other theories, obviously, but we we weren't there. We didn't see it happen, but we have to have faith that that's that the creation happened. One thing I noticed is no one's name is mentioned here that um, said they had faith on the 
these had works that showed their faith. But there is none here listed that just said they had faith, but it was by their works that they did that showed their faith. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. It wasn't just things they said or something. I mean, there was things they did to prove that they believed and had faith. In verse 4, there were talks about Abel. It said, I mean, how, was his, how did he show his faith in there? his best, which Cain didn't necessarily do that. <clears throat> and looking at Enoch there, it says where he was translated that he should not <clears throat> see death. Why was there so few, if it's possible to have that kind of faith, why is there so few people that, um, there's only two that were listed in the Bible that didn't actually die, but they, because they walked with God so close, He just took them without death. <clears throat> Is it because we're lacking in faith that that doesn't happen to those around us? Right. 
But yeah, God doesn't necessarily promise us that even if we do, that He will take us in that way. But yeah. good point because I think probably most everybody that was listed in here died in faith. I mean, they it wasn't like they just lived maybe a short period of their life in faith. They died in faith. <clears throat> but in that same verse there, the next phrase, not having received the promises. What promises was he talking about there? But having seen them afar off, they were persuaded of them. <clears throat> Promised a life of ease just because of our faith. Mm-hmm. And some of these later in the chapter, some of these seem like such small things too, where it mentions. Uh, I had to think of like where it mentions the harlot Rahab. She perish not because she um, believed the spies and she took them in but that would, her name was listed in the, this chapter because of that What part does faith play in our relationship with God? Can we have a relationship with God without faith? Is there salvation without faith? (laughs) 
I mean, that's probably a fairly easy answer, we, probably. But how many times do we think we know something, but we don't fully actually believe, or it doesn't actually change the way we do things? <clears throat> but faith is part of the Christian life from the beginning to the end. It is the instrument <clears throat> by which the gift of salvation is received. I think it's in Hebrews 6. It says that faith is the anchor of the soul. And I think that's why they go through the experiences that were mentioned here, though. From verse 35 on, it's because they had an anger in the storms that they went through. But I think, I don't know how many of you like driving across long bridges, but I think it's because of a focus on the other end is why we do it. I think the longest bridge we ever drove across was, I forget, was it seven or nine miles, something like that, and I'm not really fond of that length of a bridge. Our focus was to get across what was on the other end. That's the same with the right. We focus on what's on the, at the other end. And that's the anchor of the soul. Mm Faith is a spiritual force that overcomes great opposition and can carry a person through great trials. <clears throat> Ephesians 2, 8 and 9, For by grace are ye saved through faith, that not of yourselves it is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. But as was mentioned earlier, our faith is shown through our works, though, too. If you Victor Frankl says, if you have a rock, How do we get more faith? <clears throat> But therefore, can you lose faith by not exercising faith? What are you all thoughts? He said on Sunday, get back up again. <clears throat> Keep exercising. Mm -hmm. now, it's easy to become discouraged, but it's just, I guess the disciples asked Jesus to increase their faith. I think that was done by taking out three circumstances and walk, he walked with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think um, if we, like you said, if we don't exercise it, it will get weaker. Um, the mind has to be informed of for faith to operate that has to be based upon the word Romans ten seventeen. faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God reading the written word and keeping filled with the spirit will help our faith to be activated and enable us to move and live in faith
is there a point in our everyday life where we try to um, explain everything that happens around us with reason or with a scientific reason or something like that where because we don't like to um, talk about or, or say that we just have faith that God had a purpose for everything that happened. I was been having a conversation with a gentleman not that long ago the other day that um, he brought that up and I had to think of that um, yeah because he said different things that have happened that stuff happens around and people are, aren't are hurt and think different things and we'll try and figure out why things happen the way they did and stuff and sometimes we just have to stop thinking about all that and just um, leave it in that God had a purpose and a reason for everything that happened and he was in control of the situation. <clears throat> that may be a reason why we struggle with faith because we try to have an answer for everything. And one other um, thing I have here to think about, and, you, and if you have any thoughts, you can. Uh, how do we pass our faith down to the younger ones around us or to those around us? How can we pass our faith on? example or showing the faith through our lives. <clears throat> Anybody have any other thoughts? Okay, if not, is there any announcements or anything this evening? Uh, you all can stand for closing prayer.